It's Monday the 8th of August and welcome to From the South. 40 people are confirmed dead after Tropical Storm Al caused deadly mudslides in eastern Mexico over the weekend. A new threat now looms off Mexico in the form of Tropical Storm Javier, which experts believe could gain enough energy to become a hurricane this week. The International Olympic Committee is asking athletes and visitors at the Rio Olympics to have respect for all competitors. This after Australia swimmer Mac Horton referred to rival Sun Yang as a drugs cheat. Another incident entailed Russian swimmer Yulia Efimova, who was subjected to insults from fellow athletes and a booing crowd. IOC spokesman Mark Adams said that the organization encouraged free speech and had no plans to take action. Police in Brazil have arrested a 22-year-old Namibian boxer, Jonas Junius, on suspicion of attempting to sexually assault a roommate at the Olympic Village. Junius, who is competing in the light welterweight division, allegedly grabbed the maid and tried to kiss her. He is also suspected of offering the victim money to sleep with him. Last week, another boxer, Morocco's Hassan Sada, was arrested on suspicion of sexually assaulting two roommates at the Olympic Village. The United States Federal Appeals Court has ruled in favor of oil giant Chevron in the Ecuador pollution case, which means that Ecuadorian plaintiffs will be unable to collect almost $9 billion in the United States. The legal proceedings filed by Ecuador have lasted for years due to the widespread pollution of the Amazon basin in the South American nation. At least 70 people were killed and scores more wounded in Pakistan from a suicide attack at the emergency department of a hospital. The Pakistani Taliban faction has claimed responsibility for the attack that targeted a group of mourning lawyers who were gathered to accompany the body of a murdered colleague. A coalition of Syrian and Kurdish fighters supported by the United States is attempting to evict Islamic State group fighters from Manbij in Syria once and for all. The alliance, known as the Syrian Democratic Forces, dealt a debilitating blow to IS over the past weekend, after two months of fighting there. Alliance members are confident that by midweek, no IS fighter will be left in Manbij. US Republican presidential hopeful Donald Trump has finally revealed his economic plan. He argued that the current US tax code is burdensome and complex and wastes 9 billion hours a year in tax code compliance. He also says that his plan will reduce the current number of brackets from 7 to 3 and dramatically simplify and streamline the process. Meanwhile, the Clinton camp has released a video warning voters of Trump's plan called the danger of Trumponomics. The reports are that hundreds of thousands had gathered in Turkey's capital on Sunday to support President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The president says that the state would be cleansed of all who were involved in last month's failed coup attempt. He added that if citizens supported the death penalty, then he would approve the decision made by parliament. The situation is calm and peaceful here in the Gaza Strip, despite the fact that the Israeli forces uh, incursioned in some areas in the uh, eastern Gaza uh, city, leveling Palestinian farms. However, there were no injuries reported in this incident. And the West Bank Israeli forces arrested uh, tens of Palestinians in different cities and towns around the West Bank. This Israeli policy of arresting young Palestinian people is a way to frighten uh, those uh, youth and those men from carrying any attacks against Israeli uh, police and Israeli settlers in the, uh, in the light of the uh, Palestinian Third Intifada. Brazilian security authorities have met with heads of the National Islamic Union to discuss Brazil's security measures. This comes after 12 individuals were arrested for allegedly plotting an attack during the 2016 Rio de Janeiro Olympic Games. The head of the NIU said one of the main objectives of the organization is to fight prejudice towards the Muslim community in Brazil. More on these and other stories on our website, telesotv.net slash English.